Hey everyone, it's Ben. I'm um, doing this video for Wine Navarro 1988, who asked if I would review, um, do a review of my um, Jeepers Creepers Creeper figure from the Jeepers Creepers 2 film. Um, it was put out by Soda Toys back in 2003. Um, what I also decided to do, um, I'll put the figure right there. <laughs> Um, is do a review of a 12 inch Jeepers Creepers figure that I have as well. Um, that came out the same year. Um, I have him right there. Um, this was not put out by Sideshow. This figure I believe was put out by an independent company. Um, my wife found it for me at Tower Records. So I'm dating myself right there. But um, I never saw another figure put out by this company. So um, this was kind of an a once in a lifetime figure. I think it was called Majestic Toys or something like that. Um, but anyway, it was not Sideshow. Um, it did come with a severed head, but the head was kind of, the hair on it was kind of put together funny, so it never really stayed in his hand very well, so I ended up just keeping it out and just having him hold the axe there. But to start things off, um, like I said, I'm going to do the review of the six inch figure that Soda Toys put out um, in 2003, right after Jeepers Creepers came out, or the second movie came out. So to start off first, he comes with, uh, let me move the videos here, he comes with a base. Now this fence wasn't like this, uh, but when I moved and I put the figure back together, I accidentally snapped one of the, the barbed wires. Um, I think it kind of gives it an area look. I tried to glue it, but it just doesn't work very well, so I just kept it like that. But he's standing on a roadway. Um, you can see part of the street there in the ground. It's got bushes. Um, it's got a crow on the branch right there on the post, fence post right there. It comes with his axe. Um, you can take him off the base here. I'll just take him off and I'll move the base out of the way. Um, very good likeness. Looks just like he did in the second movie. In the second movie, they tried to go with the... He looked a little bit more reptilian in the in the second film. He had a, like a, he looked like he was, a, he had a wetter look to him. Um, I think that was something they tried to go with. In the first movie, he was very dry, so every time something would happen to him, like he got hurt, it looked like he had dust coming out of him. In this one, he's very fresh looking. Probably because he's been feasting on victims for the last 22 days when the film starts. Um, as you can see, his feet, they're um, reptilian, more reptilian looking, almost like his leg is blending into his shoe. Um, you can't really notice this in the film, but I thought it was a nice touch that the toy company did. He's got the dark pants with the tears at the bottom. Dark shirt. Comes with the axe. Very good detail in his coat with the tatters here. It's all like a soft rubberized plastic. His ponytail right there. Um, the hat does come off. Take the hat off over here. So very good likeness. Very evil looking. I love the Jeepers Creepers films. I think they're two of my favorite films of all time. Uh, I don't think they are they get the notoriety they should. Um, uh, the first one scared the shit out of me the first time I saw it. My wife and I went and saw it. We weren't married at the time, but we went and saw it and sat in the front row because it was sold out. And the, the truck scene at the beginning, we jumped like I don't know how many times. That movie, that still petrified. I still think about that when I go on road trips, that that tr creeper truck's going to show up and I'm going to have to hide somewhere to get away from him. The creeper is a very scary fig uh, figure and a very scary character, very original character. Um, say what you want about Victor Salva and his personal life, but um, he did come up with a very original character, a character that that comes alive 23 every 23 years for 23 days and eats his victims to stay to keep his anatomy going or anything that he likes off of you and he lives off of your fear i mean what a interesting creative concept and i still think it's one of the most creative villains that we've seen in some time 
and I'm hopeful that they will make the third film that's been sort of in development hell for like the last five years. Um, some of the accessories he comes with, I'll just place them over here. And let me get to... So he comes with an alternate hand, you can switch his hand out. He also comes with an alternate head. Now in the second film they jammed him in the eye with a pole, I think it's a pole vault or, or some type of spear they shove through his eye um, when he attacks the kids from above the bus. One of the girls jabs this through, his, through the bus and through his head and you can rip that out and discuss. so you can switch his head out and do this but I like to display him the way he is but it's kinda cool having this um, the other thing he comes with which I thought was really cool was his arsenal um, the weapons that Taggart finds he finds this in the cornfield um, it's the dagger he had that was cool and then the other thing he comes with is the throwing star and this had like teeth and um, it had part of Derry's stomach with the tattoo on it and it was made out of bone and and it was used to puncture the, the bus tire to strand them and it's pretty pretty good for pretty accurate here compared to the movie I mean it looks great so that's a nice little touch right there um, now what I'll do is I'll show my 12 inch creeper. And I've shown him briefly in some of my room videos, but he's always in the back of my display case. I don't like to leave him out too much just because he is kind of rare and I don't want anything to happen to him. But I really like the character and the, the figure is just amazing. They did a great job. All of this is cloth. There's no the only plastic on him is in his, you know, his 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 actual body is in the hands, the face, the hat is plastic, and the shoes are plastic. But everything else is it's all cloth material, his jacket, his undershirt here, the hood, real hair for his ponytail here. I bought this base because he doesn't stand up real well. And again, he didn't he's not like a sideshow figure, so he didn't come with a base. I'll turn him around. Um, I'll take the hat off. It's a little tough to get this hat off. There we go. There we go. Oh, look at that face. That is awesome. They did a great job on his likeness. I mean just beautiful in an ugly way. Yeah, I, I'm very proud of this, and uh, I don't know why they don't put out more Creeper things, because I think he is, a, and to me, he's in the leagues with Jason, Freddy, and Michael Myers. I think he's a, he's a scary character, and um, I, I wish that there was more out there of him. I'm really happy with this. Um, so, Y Navarro 88, I hope this is what you're looking for in terms of reviews. I know I threw in this one a little bit uh, just to show off another Creeper figure I had. Uh, it sort of gave me the opportunity to do so. So, um, feel free to comment. Uh, let me know if you guys want me to show anything else uh, or do another video talking about the movies or whatever. Um, love the film series um, and uh, appreciate all the nice feedback and uh, hope everyone's doing well and please uh, feel free to let me know what you think and look forward to more videos thanks a lot take care everyone